Well, Peter Scudamore again on number one, Admiral Zoll. Two is Fiddler's Three, written by Carl Llewellyn. Three, five corners, Simon Sherwood. Four is Herbert United, uh, Jimmy Frost. Five, Kerouac, Brendan Powell. And six, the Leggett, Wally Irvin. Oh, they're still 11 to 10 now, the favourite. Kerouac is 11 to 2. Five corners, six to one, so is Fiddler's Three. The Leggett has gone from sixes to seven to one. And on 16 to one, going out, Herbert United. That's the outsider. And off they go. And it's Kerouac who jumps off in front. Kerouac, the legate on the outside of Admiral's All. Then Fiddler's Three, then Herbert United, and the back mark of five corners. Who was brought down as giant forward at the first Fiddler's Three. Fiddler's Three is down at the first. Carl Llewellyn rolls clear and is OK. But what a very long way to come for a very little time in a horse race. Into the straight, and Kerouac just running a little bit wide there. The Leggett's on the inside. In third, Admiral Zoll, Peter Scudamore, and his customary position on the rails, looking for winner number 171. What an amazing feat it would be if he could become the first man since Sir Gordon Richards under both sets of rules to ride 200 winners in one season, all over the second. And this is the first open ditch. Leggett in the centre, Admiral Zoll on the far side, Kerouac on the stand side. And the favourite just nodded on landing there, but no real problem. Herbert United dropped out last again. Richard Dunwoody is keeping to the inner on five corners as they jump the fourth. Favourite jumped back well. Herbert United jumped it a little bit slowly. Just on his toes today, Herbert United, sweating quite profusely. It's not a warm day. He's had plenty of racing. Coming to the fifth, Kerouac pricks his ears and rises fractionally in front of Admiral Zoll. Tracking those two, the Leggett, he's a little bit warm as well, then five corners, he's had no luck so far, and Herbert United. Coming down to the water and the five runners separated by only three lengths, Kerouac, Admiral Zoll, the Leggett, Herbert United, and five corners at the water. All over its circuit to go. And the clouds just drifting away now, and... Uh, it's becoming just a pleasant spring afternoon as Admiral Zoll disputes it with Kerouac sweeping out onto the last circuit. Kerouac, Brendan Powell last year's grand national winning rider, just going a length clear of Peter Scudamore. The national was just the one big race together with the Gold Cup that Peter wants to win. On the outside of those two, Herbert United, the Leggett is fourth, and five corners, ex Northern Ireland is fifth as they jump the seventh the land the leader landed just a little bit steep but no real problems and the next will be the second ditch Kerouac, Admiral Zoll, the Leggett, Herbert United and five corners closely bunched still leader stood back at that one really well five corners jumped it a little bit slowly David Nicholson stable not in the greatest of form but you can be sure his horse is a bit cherry ripe for Cheltenham, no to be a Highland Bud in the Daily Express. Kerouac makes a mistake at that one, and the Leggett falls. The Leggett falls, whether he was destructed by Kerouac, but his rider's back on his feet and seems none the worse. As Kerouac leads the surviving four runners. This is the 10th. Kerouac, Admiral Zoll, five corners, not foot perfect at that, and Herbert United last of the four. Five corners gets a little reminder from Richard Dunwoody. Coming to the last on the far side, the 12th, Admiral Zoll and Kerouac in the air together. Kerouac screws a little bit. Five corners is third, Herbert United fourth. Five to jump and just under a mile to race. Kerouac in the centre, Admiral Zoll on the right as we look at them. Herbert United a little bit closer now. And five corners just not going as easily as Richard Dunwoody might have liked him to be. Simon Sherwood, I should say. Simon Sherwood, uh, in fact, now pulling up five corners. So, only three left. Three left as they come to the cross fence. Just five left to jump, and Kerouac jumped that well. Herbert United made a slight mistake. Kerouac and Admiral Zoll disputing it. Herbert United right on their heels now. Three out of the six left. As they sweep round towards the straight with four left to go, and Admiral Zoll has been just about foot perfect so far. He just nodded at the ditch the first time.
now moves all going very smoothly. Kerouac being pulled towards the centre of the course by Brendan Powell and Herbert United struggling now as they come to the fourth last. Herbert United over, two, three lengths clear. Admiral Zoll, rather, I should say, over two, three lengths clear from Kerouac in second and Herbert United third as they come to the last ditch. Admiral Zoll jumps it, two or three lengths clear, Herbert United back in third. Admiral Zoll in the colours of Dorothy Price, whose husband Ryan Price had such great triumphs over this course in the Schwebs, comes to the second last, jumps it beautifully, and Herbert United makes another mistake but gets away with it and running down to the last it looks as if there's just one fence between Peter Scudamore and his 171st winner of the season Admiral Zoll on a three-timer meets it spot on jumps away to the left as he did at the last meeting but Peter straightens him out just shows him the whip down the left side he's seven eight lengths clear from Kerouac Kerouac running on well Herbert United third but this is another comfortable one for Peter Scudamore at the start of another event day for him at the line Admiral Zor wins it Kerouac is second Herbert United third those are the only three to finish Admiral Zor owned by Mrs Dorothy Price and Miss Joe Winter in partnership trained by Charlie Brooks and ridden by Peter Scudamore Kerouac owned by Mr Alan Morley trained by David Ellsworth and ridden by Brendan Powell and Herbert United owned by Lady Harris trained by Toby Balding and ridden by Jimmy Frost Admiral Zor even money favorite Second, number five, Kerouac, seven to one. And third, number four, Herbert United, 16 to one, six round.